So Astra Righteous Doctrine uh, got the job done well last time out. That was a, a pretty big win from this horse. Yeah, it was, and uh, you know, and uh, I was pleased the way he did last time. And uh, we didn't really got a clear run until the last probably 200 meters, 300 meters, you know. But uh, he done really well, and uh, obviously we got the penalty, the winning penalty, and uh, our gate is in the outside now. We just have to play different this time, you know. Yeah, I guess as you say, the contrast being you've gone from gate one to, to gate 12. Um, does he seem like the type of horse, perhaps given his running style, that might just be able to cope with that? Yes, and he, I hope so, because in, he's a horse, he's enjoy a fast pace, and uh, I hope could be a couple of good f fast runners out there, and uh, hope can pay off in the finish. Well, he managed to bring an end to a 32 race losing streak last time, so it was nice to see him win that. I mean, on his old form, I know he's not getting any younger, but he has one off Mark sort of into the 80s, so he might have a little bit up his sleeve still, do you think? I hope so. I hope we'll, we had to find the key for this fella, and uh, obviously he has been plenty asked, you know, he has plenty knocks on the door, and but it's nice to see the way he delivers, and I just, I hope can bring his confidence high for this race, you know. He's got a good course and distance record. He goes up in trip. That, that shouldn't stop him. Absolutely. Yeah. No, I, I wouldn't think that the trip is stop him. But uh, you know, obviously, we're not comfortable with the gate from the outside. But uh, we're working on to make a bad gate a good gate. You know? Here at the trials this morning at Sha Tin, you had to sit on White Cuckoo or ride him in the the international Hong Kong Mile coming up next week. How, how did he feel, Sylvester? He feels good and he's feel a little bit more sharp this time than the previous time. And uh, no, and Mr. Sai is. He's really happy with the horse and so do I, you know, and he's done a nice round. I guess on his day, I mean, he's a three-time Group 1 winner. I mean, he's, he's more than worthy of being in the field. And I guess if he brings his, his best form, he's, he's got to be some sort of sort of sneaky chance, isn't he? Uh, I think so. He, I think he got a each-way chance. Obviously, you know, it'll be a strong field. And uh, obviously, we we know what the opposition is, but could be stronger than what is, you know. And uh, But uh, I felt he should improve from his last race. and. Uh, I'm very confident he's a, he could be a player. Just great to be a part of it, I suppose, isn't it, on, on such a big day? Absolutely, yeah, you know, and he's a, he's a really pro and he's a pleasure to ride, you know, he's so quiet and, and genuine at the same time. He's just been very consistent to meet a couple of nice horses in his career, you know, but uh, he's there with the mix and, uh, you know, and on the day he will have his chance, he will deliver, you know. Francis, superb boy, was uh, very impressive on his debut here in Hong Kong. You, you must have been really pleased with that performance. Uh, yes, he, he's, he's keep improving, you know, he's a lovely horse and, uh, and uh, Seth, he, 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 he know him well, you know, he also ride him very well. Were you quite surprised with what he was able to do on debut? I mean, he seemed to travel really strongly and, and find plenty. Yeah, honestly, you know, he's he, he this horse he, he seems to have a light mouth or something. Right. Or he also have a big stride. Uh, as I say, you know, said he, he he rode him well. You know, he can he can handle him. You've trialed him since as well. What was the feedback from from that trial, Francis? Yeah, he he, he said he he's happy with, with him. Uh, he's drawing gate number two now on the on the straight course. That obviously puts him more in the centre. Do, do you think that's sort of mm. at a disadvantage being out there, or do you think he's okay? I think he's okay because uh, he's big stride. Uh, I I don't mind he, he, he uh, the gate two. You know, um, he, I think he just run his own own pace. It, he's got a few more pounds to carry as well. Uh, do you feel with sort of the trial, the experience, do, do you feel that he's well able to sort of take that next step forward? I think he's getting stronger after the last run, so I don't, I don't mind feel pounds. So. Uh, Piero Morado was very good last time out, had a, a real good set two up the straight, and he came out on top. You must have been pleased with that. Yeah, I'm very pleased with his form. Um, what he did last start, a pretty brave win, and uh, this time he got drawn 12. Um, I think he can do it again. Just from a sort of a pace angle in the race, Pierre, now there doesn't seem to be a great deal of tempo on and you know, Zach was a bit more prominent on him last time. Is it not inconceivable that you could perhaps jump and perhaps find yourself somewhere near the front this time again? Uh, I think we'll do the same. We just have to be positive on him and um, let him travel and uh, let him breathe and um, fight, fight in the straight. He's got to give a lot of weight to, to cast a legend who he beat last time. I, I guess that is a concern. But what you do have is a horse that, that does like a battle. Yes, uh, I do. This I do think this time he'll improve his um, form again. So um, let's see who wins.
What was interesting, I noticed last time, obviously, he doesn't actually go up a great deal in weight. I think he's, he's only got two pounds more here. I mean, the top rated last time was only 53. So, uh, on weights and measures, etc., he does obviously meet a stronger fill. But I guess with that, the, the handicap has been kind given the nature of this race. Uh, yes, um, definitely. We do have a handicap to um, kiss a legend this time. But um, I think um, the weight doesn't stop him this time. Yeah, he's an interesting runner for sure. Obviously, Zach's back uh, on board. Um, I must ask you about a couple of your stable stars that trialled here this morning, both Duke Wine and Lucky Patch. We could start with, with Lucky Patch. That was a, an excellent run last time. Are you happy with his trial this morning? Um, I'm just OK with his trial this morning. Um, as you see, when he goes around the turn, he got interfered and he got checked. Um, wasn't smooth enough. Other than that, I'm happy with him. The Duke Y fan club has expanded, I feel, in recent weeks. He's yep. just an absolute star, this horse, isn't he, for your stable? And he's another horse that will be lining up on, on the big day on yes. December 11th. Um, he's doing brilliant. Um, as you can see, in the dirt trial, he doesn't like to kick back and he wouldn't give you much. So um, I'm really looking forward to next week. And it um, <clears throat> doesn't matter what he draws, and he'll come from the back. Uh, how much, uh, oh, you say you're obviously looking forward to it, but how exciting is it for, for a new stable like yours to, to be oh, part of a big day? <coughs> Definitely. Um, we're lucky to get one into the internationals, um, but now we've got two. Um, definitely a good hope for the whole stable. Um, I tried my best for the last time um, to get those two in to the top three to get tickets into for the internationals, and now we did the first step. Hopefully, we make the second step. Derek A. Powell is one of your rides this uh, Sunday afternoon at Sha Tin. Mightily impressive win last time out. How taken were you as a rider by, by that performance? Yeah, we were all very happy last time, the way he win. And, but you can see he have a good barrier and good position. If the, the track is, is good for him, so the way he win is quite, quite good. But like I, I say, he, everything suitable for him last time. I hope this time will be the same, but we'll see. I mean, he's shown it with his form, but do you and the team feel that he, he just continues to improve? I mean, he's, he's, his win last time certainly looked the culmination of, of that bit of experience so far in Hong Kong. Yes, uh, look, every, every way he's been learning and keep improving. Like, first time he will miss a big jump, and second time, Rush to get the position he can be pulled, but last time he had a good position. He jumped nicely and go, 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 wasn't, wasn't short, uh, too keen. Everything was smooth, so the way, the, uh, so he, he's keep improving. Were you a little bit surprised perhaps at the manner in which he, he did manage to win? I mean, it was, a, it was a pretty sharp turn of foot, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the way, the way he goes smooth and quite surprised. Got an extra six pounds, Derek. I mean, the handicapper hasn't missed him. He's put him up ten points, but I, I guess it's justified to some degree. Yep. Uh, look, I, I think the waiting is won't be against him. Just need the situation stable for him. Uh, just a, an overall sort of you know view of the race itself. I mean, he's meeting some newcomers. He's meeting one or two that perhaps are a little bit out of form. Do you feel he finds a nice opportunity to perhaps win again? Uh, yeah, yeah. Try. I will try my best. Um, and obviously, he's a four-year-old. Um, you rode another very nice four-year-old a couple of weeks ago by the name of Keithy, who won well. This horse, is he sort of season geared around the four-year-old series? I guess that's probably where he's going to head, is he? Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I believe he won of the four-year-old horse. And uh, uh, last time he won quite super impressive. And, but the, the, the tempo was quite good for him. So he won't be too keen and quite smooth and top of the straight. He just put him out, he, 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 he keep rolling. I mentioned Keefe, of course, and for any jockey here in Hong Kong, it's always nice to put your hand up and, and get on these nice four-year-olds, and especially when they're winning. And I guess that's a nice position to be in, because the more you can ride, the more you're successful on it. Might give you one or two options there for the big races. Yes, uh, so I just need to, don't get a mistake, don't want a mis and just, just keep trying my best. Hugh Majestic Star will be your ride in the last race on Sunday afternoon. You've had a sit on him in the trials. Uh, what did you make of him? He gave me a good feel, Nick. He, he, you know, he does like the old weather. He's won on it two starts ago, and you know his trial, his tick over trial was very good. Got a lot of confidence out of that, and uh, looking forward, you know, he's got a good draw. He's got it. He's he's got a bit in his favour, so. Hopefully we can finish the day on a good note. Absolutely. Uh, class one winner two starts ago. I imagine Danny Shum, who's been keen to, to put you up on, on many of his runners, he'll be quite, uh, quite hopeful of a big run as well, I'm sure. 
Yeah, I think so. And, you know, he's, the horse is in good form. And, you know, the, the writing's on the wall, but no, we still need things to go our way. So, looking forward to it. I guess where you're drawn, gate number one, obviously never a disadvantage in a race like this. Well, my, with my little experience on, on this, particularly the all weather here at Chartin, the, the draws are vital and that's a huge advantage to be drawn in. So uh, we've got that, got that advantage and we'll try and make use of it. I just had a look at your record actually on the all weather here in Hong Kong. It's, it, it's a very respectable one. You, I mean, you, you have obviously ridden on it not as much as the turf, but you've, you've had success on it. Do, do you enjoy riding on the, the all weather? As, well, uh, I How do, does it I, differ from the turf, perhaps, in your opinion? Well, what, what I've found with my experience, because that was my first um, taste of all-weather racing when I was here in Hong Kong some eight or nine years ago, and inter interestingly enough, I, I did have some good success and had actually laid the platform to riding a few winners here in Hong Kong during that period of time. But, uh, subsequently, we've been to Japan and ha had a bit of experience on all with the tracks over there which is a lot different to the track here at Sha Tin but you know it's it's all about momentum mm -hmm. and rhythm uh, it's different to turf racing which goes without saying but um, I, I do enjoy it but you, you need a horse that copes with it you know yeah. some horses just don't like it and others really thrive on it so when you're on an animal that really does enjoy the all weather it's a huge advantage and Majestic Star seems to be one of those. He certainly does. And just talking of rhythm, uh, Huey, obviously, but momentum, things have continued to, to go, go well for you. Obviously, a nice double uh, during the week um, at Happy Valley. Yes, it was. I had some nice rides there, and, you know, you've got to sort of turn those into winning rides. But uh, the day, the, the, the evening didn't start off quite the way I would have liked, but certainly by the end of the night, we were happy with those two winners. And, you know, Casper's uh, horse in the last I thought was particularly good. He was really strong, obviously he did have good form mm. and, and, and race as well at the course and distance, but it was a pretty dominant win and uh, might be another one in him.